What's up guys, my name is Joe here, welcome to episode 9 of my Born with Save on FM15. In this episode, we're going to be playing the game against Man U in the Prem. Um, just a side note before we go into that, uh, the player I was going to sign, um, as you can see, he is the 17 year old Brazilian wonder kid Malcolm. I asked for more money from the board and they gave me a total of what amounts to about 8 million and I I went in broke the bank for him he didn't get a work permit at first but then I appealed and it was granted however I don't have the money so I delayed it for a week um, I mutually terminated Dan Gosling's contract to try and free up a bit of wage I'm not sure if that's enough so I might have to try and terminate someone else's contract as well but that uh, you know that's a bit of news Dan Gosling's left the club he didn't make any appearances for me but that's a uh, 10k that was wasted on him so hopefully Malcolm will come in and really be a, a star striker for us in the future but enough about the future in terms of right now we're playing manual away in the Premier League in what will almost certainly be a loss but we can hope um, in terms of the team this Dan and Solly are back but they're Fitness isn't that great, so they'll just be starting on the bench. No, in fact, I'll, I'll play Chris Solly. But this time I'll be on the bench. The team's going to be Lee Camp. Nah. Lee Camp's good, but he's... I, I don't know, I'm not sure whether he's amazing or terrible. That might sound quite weird, but... I'm still undecided about him, because sometimes he makes great saves. But then we conceded six against Liverpool. It's time to give Boric a go. Hopefully Boric will have a good performance. So Arta Boric in goals, Chris Solly right back, Vallejo and Alpha at centre back, Ren Wings left back, Sermon, Oriol and Arta in the middle, Graham, Wilson and Russell up front. <coughs> Hopefully we'll manage to get a draw out of this like we did in our last game which was against Spurs, where we got a hard earned draw which no one was expecting. Though that was bitter, we were about to win the game in the last minutes. But it, a draw is a draw, and against a team like Spurs, you have to take that. But it still is slightly different. Anyway, hopefully we can read that and get a draw. I'm not going to be ambitious enough and say we're going to win, but as long as we get completely destroyed like Liverpool, I'll be fine. Hopefully we'll try and exploit their uh, three at the back. In terms of their um, a team, De Gea and goals, Chris Smalling, Benucci. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. They must have signed from uh, Juventus. Uh, Rojo, Valencia, Fellaini, Schweinsteiger, Ashley Young, Juan Mata, Wayne Rooney, and Memphis Depay. Excited to sign Christian Benteke. I was uh, I started this game before Benteke moved to a uh, to real life, so he's going to their rivals in this and went. Decided to join Man U instead. I just hope that we're going to be able to somehow I'll get some points on this game. Though we are doing above expectations, we're not in the relegation zone, we're 12, so it doesn't really matter if we lose. But if the more points you collect early in the season, the lesser drama there is at the end. There's less to worry about. You know, once you've got that, once you've got to that 40 points, you can just relax and hopefully we can reach out before the last game and it won't be a struggle. But I mean, we might still do that, but that's not going to score against us. One 0 five minutes in, and we're already losing. So that's a great start. I'm just going to go ahead and switch to contain. Just try and concede as little as possible. There you go, Oriole's injured. That's great. We need an injury. <coughs> Bring Matt Richie on, and then I'll put Sermon in the midfield. Hopefully, Matt Richie can magic. Oh, yeah, I forgot I was switching it to container as well. I'll do that now. Yeah, I mean, we 
always like that you can see the goal, but I hope so. Hmm. Is that a highlight here? I wonder who it's going to. I hope it's ours, but Ashley Young's won the ball back. I say it now. Oh, no. Man needs to love the ball. And Mr. Pie. Sorry about the background uh, noise, guys, if you can hear that, I'm not sure. It looks as if they might score again here. And there it is, Matter gets his brace. It's always likely to happen. But there's a highlight here right off the bat from kickoff. And it's going to Man U again. That's just great. Really wonderful. Boric manages to stop at this time. Luckily for us. Yeah, I do agree. Matter needs to be marked. But it does look as if we're going to see it out to half time. As I say that, they get another highlight. Sod's law. Looks as if it might be another goal. We seem to be holding out, and as soon as I. Maybe I should just start saying they're going to score 100 goals, because everything I say, the opposite happens. I say there's no highlight, a highlight comes, I say they're not going to score, and then they score. It's quite frustrating. Maybe we'll be the one on the uh, score sheet now, though, because Johnny Russell has scored. There you go, it's, only, it's still a free one, but... It might just be a concert still. Still good to score. It's always good to score. Great piece of skill there. and The other man you defender tried to stop it. Couldn't deflect the course of the ball. That went straight into the net. I always hesitate to say more the same when we're losing 3-1. But... I wonder if there's any changes I can make. Try and change the course. Distan can come on for Vallejo. And Brant's come on for Chris Sully because he's still a bit. Um... Wait, what? I'm a bit confused. Okay, yeah. Francis can come on for Sully. I brought Distan on and then put Francis on instead of him, and I was a bit confused there, but it's all sorted out. So over this, it's been a bit stop and start. I'm not quite sure what's happening. What I do know is happening though is we're losing, and hopefully we can try and resolve that issue and score one or two. But if anything, they're more likely to score. But Boric managed to save this time, and he kicks the ball. Is it going to us? No, it's Manu. Clear the ball again. Rooney here, huh? Valencia. Mings tackles him, he's a great left back, Tyron Mings. Got called up for the England under 21s, I believe, which is good to see him representing on, to this, on representing Bournemouth on an international stage, even if it is only the youth. But he can't stop that from happening, as Memphis Depay scores. 4 1. <sighs> is it going to be 5? Not quite. It looks as if they, they want more, they're not showing us much mercy. Even on contain. And there it is, Harry Arter gives away a free kick, probably going to be a goal from this. It's just an endless onslaught of Man United attacks. But I say that, it looks as if we're on the counter. Callum Wilson, Danny Graham, Francis, ooh, not quite. Hmm, I wonder. I 
wonderful managed to make anything of this chance. Sorry, my, my commentary's been kind of lacklustre. Being quite mellow and laid back, I should be more enthusiastic because Matt Ritchie has just scored to make it 4-2. He's in a great little vein of form, is Matt Ritchie. Russell, who scored the first, gets the assist, and it's a great shot there. 4-2. And back with a chance, even if it is only a slim chance, we still have a chance. But it looks as if it's the game's just going to peter out into a 4-2. That's fine by me, we scored twice yesterday, that's good enough for me. At least it shows that we're at least a bit competitive. And there it is. It's over. Oh yeah, sure, they, they played quite well. It's only really a, a one-game episode this, uh, this time. Next time, there'll probably be two games. Hopefully we'll secure the signing of Malcolm. And hopefully we'll manage to uh, get some points out of our game. And I'll be a bit more enthusiastic. It's just hard to get behind a losing team against Man United. But, you know, at least we scored twice. It's always some positives to take out this game. And hopefully, in the next episode, we'll come back stronger. Thanks for watching. See you next time.